Good morning, adventurers, and welcome to day two. First, the first day two. That's going to get old. Day two of our Royal Caribbean Liberty of the Seas adventure. Well, today is a port of call. It is Nassau. We have uh, Windjammer, first time we've ever had that buffet. So we're excited, have a couple other things that are pretty cool and uh, unexpected, planned. Um, and then we'll have to see what the night brings. So come along with us, day two, Liberty of the Seas. First time ever vlogs. Hi, first time at Windjammers. Nice little bar up there. The hours of operation are breakfast 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sorry, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. and lunch is 11.30, 3.30, and 6 to 9. Now you can have breakfast in the main dining room as well, so that's an option. Now, in the spirit of just keeping things sanitized, you come in one way, you come out the other way. To the right there is where we did chops and grill. And out the left here is Giovanni's table. All right, let's go see what they got at Windjammer. First time ever. Time to give you a little view of the uh, kids' area because nobody's out here. Pretty nice. Then places where the adults can sit, that's really nice. So here's a real good view of the kids' area. Really pretty, pretty cool, actually. I mean, nice job, Royal Caribbean. Nice job of making a nice area. And then adults, and then I, I didn't really show, but over there actually have hot tubs that uh, adults can sit in. So that's a, that's a well done. And another nice little view here early in the morning since nobody's there. Okay, that's crazy. There's a dive, or that's a swimming pool there. I thought it was a diver. Uh, the main pool. So, pool bar in the back there. Sky bar up there. And some more hot tubs. So we are parked. Now, this is not a first. Nassau. <laughs> okay, this is not a first, but this is a first. So usually on another cruise line, at which we will not name, we stay on the ship for yeah, Nassau. Nassau we However, get what are we doing today, Mama? Today we are going to Atlantis for the first time ever. So there was some Explain. Kind of, there was a glitch of some sort on the Royal Caribbean glitch. site. And for $65, I was $65 able to book bucks. all of us a pass. Which goes for what now? $300? Um, right now, it's listed at $240 on the app. Per it was person. up to $300 per person. 
um, but it is sold out for this cruise. Well, they so caught the glitch. They caught the glitch. Some people got emails. We think it may have been further cruises yeah, down the I line. Think because it was so close to our sailing, they're honoring it clearly because we have tickets and everything. So we are going to go for it. So rookie tip, continue to refresh Always that the app. app. So first time ever, Atlantis. Several ships on in port. Sister ship, Liberty, uh, the sea is what we're on. Independence right next there. And the wish. We'll just say, see in a few. First time filming in Nassau. Headed for the bus. All right, so after a uh, pretty long walk off the plane. <laughs> uh, we're on the bus, so we're headed to Atlantis. Are we excited, sis? Yeah. Yeah. All right. you, you said you're not going on the slide. We're going to see. We're going to play it by ear. Going over the bridge here to Atlanta. And there's where we're going. Aqua Venture. They do have a couple other experiences here. So before you enter into the park, you do have to do a waiver, obviously. They're not going to take responsibility for you getting hurt. So basically, you just get onto their complimentary Wi-Fi, download the QR code, complete your waiver, and bam. So this is where you have to check in to get to the park, even though you have the tickets, probably got to get some wristbands or something like that. I'm sure they say this at the uh, slides, but 40 inches tall. All right, how cool. First time ever at Atlantis. Not staying here, but I'd like to someday. Cool shops. Well, you can just kind of just come and hang around here, huh? Very pretty. Water park through the casino and right out the doors. Look this cool coral here. All right, no gambling, guys. Pretty cool there. Look at this cool figurine here. What a cool. So basically go right through the casino off to the, the right-ish. Got a chair right there. Wow. What pretty. Hey, all right. I don't know what he's yelling about, but ooh, how cool is that? So I forgot there's kind of a little aquarium here too. But so you go all the way past that. So don't think you're lost. There's actually a checkout uh, or check uh, security guard there. Wow, how cool. All the fishies. Look at that pool right there. That school of fishing. They're schooling each other right there. Huh, huh, huh. I just got a nasty look from my daughter. Alright, and finally we're out to the Aqua Adventure Beach out this way. Pretty large place. Pretty crazy place, huh? Huge. Wow. How pretty. Pretty pretty. Like a shot. little view of, I think these are called the towers. I'm not sure if it's east and west, but. Pretty waterfall. All right, it's a nice pool area here. Lazy River. This is cool. So this is the slide as you kind of slide with the sharks. How cool is that? So let me point out real quick, you don't have to rent, you don't, you don't rent the, the tubes. We're kind of a little confused because some of the, well, Cabana Bay, you got to rent the tubes. Nap, they're free here. So a couple of slides you have to have inner tubes on, the other ones you don't. All right, Brielle is exploring the map. The boys went to go start on the slides. 
the girls are just sitting here kind of chillaxing. What do you think so far, sis? Uh, this place is awesome. Liking it so far, huh? Pretty cool. The serpents. We're the first ones to go. We're on the GoPro now. That's why it's bad sound, but we're the first ones to go on the slide. That was the serpent slide. So actually there's two ways you can go down it. It says, although uh, inner tube required, actually there's a line that you go to the left for that one versus the other one, the jungle slide. Uh, there's two sides, right? There's one for the tubes and one that you, I, she, he said, I think it must have been a different slide because I saw nobody yeah, I on tubes. So, okay, yeah. So one must come down over here. Not sure whether that one goes through the shark. Yes, it does. It does. It does. Yeah. Okay, so both go through the shark. So one with tubes, one without tubes. All right. So Mama and Breezy, ooh, are gonna be coming with the sharks. And there's Mama and Breezy swimming with the sharks. Jungle slide. We'll see what that is, how intense it is. Right now. Water is very cold. Oh, 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 geez. This water is so cold. Oh my god. Not a very fast. That's why the water is. Oh my god. It is from here, main pool, or one of the pools I guess here, probably tons of them. And it's about three and a half feet here. All right, I did want to show a little bit of what they have here at the Express. What did you get? I got the buffalo chicken. And there it is. That's looking good. Keeks, you went loaded there. Nachos. Nachos. Chili. Cheese nachos. We got the same thing. We kept it very American. You know, I started thinking we should have had cheeseburger. Cheeseburger in paradise. I don't know what we were thinking. Cheeseburger in paradise? Yeah. Okay. You know, that's the thing. Well, it's tequila in paradise. And, yeah. No, it's cheeseburger okay. in paradise. Hot dogs and fries. And the fries were freshly made. I mixed up some fry sauce for awesome. us. And I'll be honest, I think that it was pretty reasonably priced up there. I think um, you know, it could have been crazier than what it was, but I think you know this whole meal, the the drink and the fries and hot dog was like 12 bucks, I think. So not bad. So I guess total 60 bucks for wrap, chili cheese, two hot dogs, two fries, and two cups. So you know, not bad. Very pretty here. 
probably the private beach here of uh, Atlantis, I would imagine. Beautiful. All right, we're done. How do we like it, Atlantis? I like it. That so was so much fun. Basically, all we did was a slide. Yeah. Um, I ever played ping pong. Uh, my favorite slide was the tube slide, the serpent slide. That's right, yeah. Yeah, that, that was the best. Oh. My, my favorite slide was the only slide I went on. You got to swim, uh, swim around, or swim, what do I say? Swim with the sharks, I guess, right? Yeah. They were above you and below you and all that stuff. So hopefully I got some good pictures of that. All right, anything else? All right. All right, babe, we did it. I, to me, this was a bucket list. I, I wanted it. to come here. Yeah, we did not conquer the whole aqua No, Venture it's park. a lot. It was a little bit chilly in the water, so that kept us from doing some of the like swim stuff. Yeah. We stuck to slides and lounging, went out to the beach, had a nice lunch. It was a good day. And I, and I think, um, I, I think we'll just say, you know, what you choose to do is certainly relative as far as price tags and what is offered for that. I think we only did this because of the glitch. Um, being here now, I don't really think we'd ever do it again at the expense. I think if we were to do it again, it'd be because we chose to come and stay here. Yeah, um, yeah. not do I'm, it on a cruise. Yeah, I'm glad we came. We, like we said before, we love to do our Nassau day on board. Yeah. So we're gonna try to head back to the Liberty and do some of the on board stuff before dinner. All right. But overall, it was good. I thought the food was good. Good time here at Atlantis. Yeah. And there we are, Liberty of the Seas. So I was just telling the kids, only, two, only time in the history of our cruising we've ever been into a port in which we are sailing on two ships within two weeks apart. Like it. Just, I can just cruise. I think I cruise my whole life. All right, our first ice cream, free ice cream. Uh, sprinkles, first ice cream of the Royal Cruise. Woo! How we like it? Good? Refreshing. Good? Yeah. All right, these guys are waiting their turn to get their breath so they can do a tidal wave. Super excited. I'm going to try to get some filmage of them. All right, boys are headed up. So they had to get weighed before they, after they got their raft, they had to get weighed so that they could then get in this line. And they've got to take these stairs to go up, 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 up to get on. <laughs> All right, Mom and Breezy are going to go. So there's a little glimpse of this thing. So you go almost all the way top. We didn't we didn't get quite there. We were a few a few feet away, but it's pretty cool. So you come down this slide and boom, right? Just like that. Alright. So we're waiting for them to come up here. I think you'll hear you'll hear Breezy screaming, or maybe. Guys, what do you think about the oh tidal God. wave? We survived. That was crazy. <laughs> Isn't it fun? That was so fun. It was a much, much bigger drop than how it looked. Yeah. yeah. Like the feeling and everything. So, but that was Did crazy. you almost hit the top? Oh man. Did you see how close you, you were? You were close. You were pretty wow. close. That was crazy. And I will say, it certainly does appear that to do the water thing, now besides the flow rider, I think that one you got to sign up ahead of time. Definitely a uh, good strategy to do the slides on port of call for sure. I mean, I think that's kind of been our standard with uh, the other crews we will not mention with to do their slides. Uh, but th definitely, I mean, there was little to no weight. I mean, I think maybe two or three up here on the tidal wave, that's it. The slide looks eh, a little bit more line. But anyway, definitely port of call. You want to do those kinds of things. That's kind of good. Now, you want to take your life in your own hands. Oh, this guy's doing pretty good. Oh, whoa, 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 jeez. Even though the, uh, I think, minimum height, well, 52, 52 inches is the minimum height. So, I mean, they restrict some kids. 
And let me show you the hours of operation. And there you go, Fort Lauderdale is open. It's Nassau Day. And the perfect day, Coco Cay is coming up. There's the hours. Now. Flow Rider is in the very back of the ship. And then the two sides, which actually you get on right here. There it goes up to the tidal wave. And there it goes up to Typhoon and Cyclone. So we'll have to talk to Keegs as to which one is better. I think he did the orange one. And those are right here. There's where you check in for the tidal wave. Or sorry, there's where you check in for the flow rider to sign your waiver that you will not sue Royal Caribbean. All right, it's also aft, Adventures Ocean, o Adventure Ocean, Challengers Video Arcade. So, all kinds of cool games. You get prepaid cards. They're a little cheaper if you do it before the... So we're headed downstairs to Sabor, which is one of the, which is the only uh, Mexican uh, restaurant here on the cruise, and uh, it's pay, so it's not a part of the cruise uh, fare. But we'll show you that. But we're gonna first hit one of Mama's favorites. We're gonna do some pictures, and we'll show you the backdrops. So, Sabor. So now on a three-night cruise, much to my wife's heartache, there is no formal night. So it's dress your best night. So. We're in our best attire that we brought for us to the cruise. All right, in the cruising spirit, Mama did a little decoration on the door here. Nice little view of the promenade. All right, so there's one backdrop right there. And then one of the other backdrops is right in front of the Royal Promenade. A little sign here going over the cool bridge. All right, I did want to point out that you can do it from either side of the signs of Royal Park. One over here, that's the opening of the ship, or the front of the ship, I mean. Then several on the stairs here on deck four that you can uh, do. All right, so Sabor is located on deck four. Forward, let's take a look at the menu here. All right, and here's what they got. people in here. A little bit of a cool ambiance. Okay, so we start things off at Sabor with some chips and what I think he said freshly made guacamole. That's pico de gallo. And some pico de gallo. First up appetizer. <coughs> Breezy, what did she get, Mama? She got the chicken stuffed jalapenos. Chicken stuffed jalapenos. Yeah. Jalapeno. So it says these are wrapped, wrapped in, in bacon. 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 Mm -hmm. bacon, bacon, bacon. Yes. So uh, us three decided on what? We got the queso fundido. So our server brought us out two helpings to go around for the three of us. Awesome. Looking good. Let's dig really in. Good. All right, so both kids opted for quesadilla. Keegan opted for the three cheese quesadilla. And my lovely daughter, she opted for chicken quesadillas. I know you can't see it in there, but let's dig in. Yeah. Go for it. All right, babe, what did you get? I got the spicy chicken flautas, which look incredible. Interestingly, our server let me know that in spite of the name, these are not spicy, which is good because I don't like a whole lot of spice. And so I got the spicy taco, I said chicken quesadilla, spicy taco, and it had a little spicy thing on it. So unlike my dearest, I think these are spicy, but I love spicy. Um, and I think this is cilantro that is on it. Cilantro. And then I think we got some side dishes coming too. Well, here they come. All right, so and it's a side dish. I Actually, I think we... All got both two of us got the same thing, so there's only two different ones. But there were multiple sides. Uh, I got the yucca fries with some dipping sauce. Some mango spicy habanero, he said. Ooh. And then you that. and Breezy got. Rail and I got the Mexican rice. 
Looking good. All right, so our waiter brought out the cutest thing, a cupcake. A brownie All right, so I'm going to say if these, if these desserts are as half as good as they look, this is going to be crazy. Wow. Mama, I don't even know that I can remember. I know okay. there's char. Right, Mama, why don't you take us around the horn here with our desserts? This is a cafe con leche cake. Okay. And I think he said an espresso sauce. Um, I think a chocolate sauce, I think. And then there's two scoops of vanilla ice cream. This is a coconut flan. Flan. He said that's gluten free. <laughs> Um, these are cinnamon churros, and it looks like a vanilla dipping sauce for those. And then this, these are chimichangas. Chimichangas. <clears throat> yeah, banana and chocolate chimichangas. All right. Let's do Churro dip in vanilla sauce or nothing? Um, good, huh? All right. You already took a bite out of your cupcake. Good. That banana and chocolate chimichanga was... That was, was really good. That was awesome. What a, what a just a simple, sweet. I, mean, I dipped really it good. in the chocolate. Yeah. Not even in hand. All right, so final impressions, Sabor. I'm so glad we came. Yeah. This was a great meal. Um, I, I was just telling her the tacos, um, the most authentic tacos I've ever had was from my roommate, my uh, his mom. Uh, was from Mexico, and those were, oh my gosh, exactly like the soft taco shell just melts in your mouth. It was just awesome. I don't think we had anything that we didn't like. No. Dessert was a little bit iffy, um, but the churros and the uh, chimichangas, chimichangas were outstanding. outstanding. So definitely, I would say, if you're going to choose, well, so far, um, I Sabor would be one of the ones I would choose definitely on if it's on there, I guess this is one of the few, right? You said yeah, I take that's that what back. I, so. That's what I okay. read anyway. So. so I'm glad we came. Well, Young Liberty of Seas. Some more. Do it. All right, so I think we're going to go look in some of the shops and see what they got. First one. Oh, a fancy person, Reese. Sunglasses. Some of my favorite Maui gems. And we got some fancy purses. More fancy purses. Chanel. All right, let's head into Logo Souvenir. This would be the Royal Caribbean shop, eh? The spirit jersey. Remember Dave the That's pretty cool. More cups. Sure. Ooh, that's a nice looking That's nice, bag. huh? Yeah, it's out of the that? It's got the like ombre effect going on. I like that with the logo. color kind of thing going yeah, on. Yeah, $29.95. It's not a Tervis though. No. No. I don't see an actual brand. It's insulated. And it's stainless on the inside. I love these cups. $22.95. Cakes, I could get you the clear one since you have to have clear for school. All right, you come lanyard less, lanyard less, lanyard less. You can always get them here. How much is that, Mama? Um, this is $24.95. This is an insulated tote bag. That's not, that's a that's big old really bag. Nice. Yeah, it's got a lot of room on the inside. Wow. I think I would probably just use it like to go to the beach. But hey, Mama, this one I'm thinking. What's that? We get the royal moms, the royal dads. Yeah. And then we'll get royal pains. Oh no, <laughs> we already <laughs> have them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm thinking, as though we have the collection of that other cruise line, we will not mention. Maybe we need to start, huh? Not yet, maybe. I don't know where we would put something. This is oh, more, more fancy, blingy, blingy lanyards over here. Gotta like that one. All right, mama, do you want a bling? I know, look at that. Wow. That's a statement. Shimmer and right shine. There. Shimmer and that shine, Mama. Definitely a statement. Little Aww, kiddos. Oh, how cute. I 
have a Very couple cute. different styles for the little Coffee ones here. Mugs. Yeah, they have shot glasses, shot glasses for those that come up. More blingy kind of cups. Yeah, be cute for this bourbon. And if you're not a if you're not a hat guy, you got a visors. Royal Caribbean visors. If you're a hat guy, always got that. And some cool Liberty of the Sea shirts here. All kinds of different colors. Two for 40, it's a sale. And hats, tees and hats. Uh, that would be a Christmas ornament, yes. But it doesn't say Liberty of the Seas on it, though. The royal logo. It's probably right. so that they I, can I think do it for we all. We gotta the ships. find something that says Liberty of the Seas. So we start collecting our Liberty of the Sea stuff. Or I mean, you know, Royal Caribbean royal stuff. Royal Caribbean right stuff, yeah. Yeah. So we gotta find that. That's a pretty cool shirt there, $24.95. I like it. Got all the facts here, the Liberty of the Seas. All right, so this is something that's uh, pretty cool on every single deck. Sort of an interactive where you wanna go? So, yeah. No. Seven, what are we? Seven, five, seven. Seven, five, nine, seven. Yeah. And there you go. Now, what would be really cool if it had a tracker on you? Tracker. <laughs> you can tell where you're gonna okay, go. I more so want to see what to do right now and look at. Wow, that's shows pretty cool. You, like all this different options for what you could do. So right now it's 7:39 p.m. It's next. So we could go get our complimentary bracelet. We could go listen to some Latin music or some guitar. Devotion. The ice show. All kinds of stuff. Fa friendly feud, I guess, instead of family feud. Family feud friendly family. feud. Yeah. All right. All right, friends. Thank you for joining us. Number day or day two in the books for Liberty of the Seas. Had a great time at Atlantis. Um, also had a. Uh, awesome awesome dinner at Savor. now again that's not a part of your cruise fare that's an extra and then we just kind of walked around the shops we we're kind of dead tired after Atlantis but anyway fun day please join us tomorrow we're at perfect day of Coco K again thank you for joining us so please, like. please like subscribe hit that notification bell as it does help our channel and again stay tuned for day three perfect day at Coco K coming at you right after this one again thanks for watching